in today's video, I have your new favorite stores, your new go-to stores. If you've been shopping at the same places for like five, 10, 20 years, um, stay tuned. I have alternatives to your favorite go-to stores in today's video. Hey, this is Netta, welcome to my channel. You know my goal for this channel is to help you build a beautiful wardrobe that helps you get dressed every single day, helps you do all the things you wanna do in life, and helps you feel your most confident. So part of building a wardrobe obviously involves shopping. It's my favorite part of building a wardrobe. But um, sometimes we get stuck, right? We get stuck shopping the same places over and over and over again. And you know, there's no reason to switch and, and reinvent the wheel if you found a go-to store that truly works for you. Like if the clothes fit you and they're modern and they're beautiful and they're flattering, then you know, that's where you should shop. Like, so this isn't about, oh, you you, ha you can't shop at these places anymore. Now you've got to shop at these places instead. But what I'm doing is I'm going to give you options. If you ever feel stuck or if you're ever bored or if for some reason, um, the selection at your favorite store one season doesn't light you up and get you excited to get dressed. I've got some, some stores that can be alternatives to your favorite go-to stores. So if you shop at X store, you can also consider Y store. Um, and really this came about because I saw something similar on food. Like if you like, I don't know, Asian food, you might also like Mexican food. That was not what they said, but it was something like that. And I was like, Ooh, that would be good for, for stores. Like sometimes we just want to we want more options. We want different options than what we have been shopping our, you know, for the last several years or whatever. So that's what this video is all about. It's going to give you some options for stores that you can start shopping that are going to have more of the types of items that you love and want to bring into your wardrobe. So. I hope you find this helpful and fun. I can keep doing these because the list just kept getting longer in my head. I was like, oh my gosh, this is so much fun. And a lot of these these um, uh, substitute brands, the new brands I'm introducing you to, um, some of them are gonna be new to you and some of them are, are not, but they have similar aesthetics to your favorite go-to brands. And these favorite go-to brands are based on the brands that are the biggest around the US. They're, these are the most popular kind of mall stores. These are the stores that appear in many towns across the U.S. And so the, they're often, they've become our go-to stores because we have access to them, right? And so um, some of these other stores are going to be a little less accessible, but are going to have pieces that are worth, um, worth trying, worth ordering online, worth checking out the next time you're in um, on vacation in a place where that store has, uh, has um, you know, a brick and mortar version. Um, so I hope that you find this helpful. Okay, so the first go-to store that a lot of women shop at, especially over 40, over 50, is Talbot's. Um, Talbot's has, you know, great basics, great classics, and has kind of a, a, a colorful, preppy, classic aesthetic that is also um, matched by a store called Bowdoin. Now, Bowdoin is a British brand, so for those of you in the UK, um, uh, I, I'm still surprised that a lot of women in the US are not familiar with Bowdoin because um, they have a, a a large U.S. presence. They're available at Nordstrom. They have their own website in the U.S. Um, and they have a similar, like, colorful, preppy, classic, um, but in my opinion, a little bit more modern and a little and, and definitely more trend forward than Talbot's. But if you like Talbot's, you will probably also like Bowdoin. And I'm going to give you an example. Here is a striped top from Talbot's multicolored striped top from Talbot's, which is fine, it's okay, um, but I prefer, this is a multicolored striped top from Bowdoin. I think it looks a little bit more modern. So sometimes a little tweak on some of the items at your favorite stores you can find a, a, a variation of at one of these new stores that you might like better or that might feel a little bit fresher. Um, another store to consider if you love Talbot's is J. Crew, and it's like the most preppy and everyone knows J. Crew, of course, but it's the most preppy, um, colorful, um, you know, it's just that source in the U.S. Um, and I kind of feel like Bowdoin and J. Crew are kind of um, across the pond counterparts, although they probably wouldn't wouldn't say that. But 
of course, J. Crew has a striped top. They've always got a striped knit top in J at J. Crew, and this is their um, Breton J. Crew striped um, top. So you've got three striped top options from three stores with a similar kind of preppy, colorful aesthetic. They each have their own take on it, but they, you know, if you if you shop at one store, you might very well like another. Okay, let's talk about um, Chico's. Now, Chico's is another store that a lot of women over 40, over 50, it's a go-to store for a lot of you. And if you like Chico's, chances are you like items that have a little bit of a boho feeling. You like detail. You like, um, you know, maybe lace or suede or beading or flow. It, it's got a whole boho aesthetic and kind of a well-traveled world traveler vibe going on. And uh, there are a couple of other stores that have that same vibe. Now, the first is one of my favorites and is a store, of course, that you're all familiar with, and it's Anthropology. So if you like Chico's, you might want to consider Anthropology. Yes, Anthropology is a little bit more useful, but Anthropology has clothes, in my opinion, from women for women in their 30s on up. And um, Ha they have beautiful, beautiful pieces that really echo some of that same mood and that same kind of world traveler boho um, feeling that Chico's does. Um, another source for that same type of style is the Sundance catalog. Now they each have their own brand of it, right? Sundance is a little bit more Western. Um, Anthropology is a little more all over the world, but they have that same type of world traveler, boho, detailed, interesting, eclectic, cool, fun pieces. Um, and you can find similar items at all these stores. So with that said, um, this first item here, this is the White House Black Market, uh, sorry, Chico's, <laughs> Chico's Linen Blend cutwork blouse. Um, it's beautiful. This is a big trend for spring is these cutwork blouses, these eyelet blouses, the broderie anglaise like that. Those those just beautiful feminine white blouses. Um, this one, like I said, is from Chico's. It's beautiful. Um, of course, Anthropology has its own version. They call it the Forever That Girl lace cutwork blouse. Um, it's stunning. I think this is so, so pretty and so feminine. A great statement piece to pair with all your basic bottoms for spring and summer. Um, and then Sundance has its own version. They call it the Marian Eyelet Top. Um, beautiful, all three different variations on it. Anthropologies is definitely a little more over the top, followed, I think, by Chico's, followed by Sundance. And I think you'll find that to kind of be um, the, the trend that you're going to be seeing at those different stores. So if you like Chico's, you might also want to consider shopping at Anthropology or at Sundance. Let's move on. Um, if you like J. Jill, J. Jill is what um, a lot of women with a natural aesthetic go for. If you've got relaxed style or natural style, you may often find yourself reaching for pieces from J. Jill. And it might have been your go-to store for the last, you know, whatever, 10, 20 years. Um, I will tell you, all of these stores, Talbot's, J. Jill, um, Chico's, have all really leveled up their pieces in the last few years. And I feel like Fortunately, it's harder and harder to find um, really frumpy things at some of these stores. It used to be that there, you know, that there was a lot out there that wasn't that wasn't modern, and they've really, really improved um, their their items. And you can tell from this picture. So this is this J. Jill cardigan in the lilac color that is still definitely trending for 2023. If you love this color, you can tell by the way it's styled that this is a modern look and a modern cardigan and a modern piece, and it's beautiful. Um, but if you want an alternative to J. Jill, maybe you get bored shopping the same place all the time, consider Garnet Hill. Many of you are going to be familiar with Garnet Hill. They have really great quality. They focus on natural fibers and relaxed silhouettes, much like they do at J. Jill. Really, really good quality pieces for the whole family as well as home. Um, and they carry some of their own items as well as brands that you may know, like brands like Velvet. Um, but this is their version, their cashmere lilac cardigan. So it's, a, it's going to be a little bit more expensive because it's cashmere, but it's beautiful. And it's got, you know, Garnet Hill has that same relaxed, natural style and sensibility that J. Jill has. So if you like J. Jill, you might also like Garnet Hill and they rhyme. So that's awesome. Um, okay, next is... Um, Loft. Loft is like the store for women in their 30s and 40s in the U.S. I mean, it really is. Let's face it. Loft and J. Crew are probably two of the most shopped stores um, for, for U.S. women. And they've got modern, feminine, fresh, um, easy to wear pieces that are, are 
have become wardrobe staples for a lot of American women. And there's nothing, again, nothing wrong with any of these stores. There's nothing wrong with shopping at Loft. But if you want an alternative for Loft, now this is a, a midi dress that is currently available at Loft. It's a floral midi dress. Um, it's, it's a pretty classic dress that you could wear to church, you could wear to work, you could wear to, you know, wherever, wherever you need to go in life. Um, and if you want something that is an alternative to that, you might want to consider Mango. Now, Mango is a Spanish company. It is um, a, more of a fast fashion brand, but similar price point to Loft and similar um, fresh, fun, feminine, a little bit trendy, but not too trendy. Um, Mango is is not, Mango has, has such a wide assortment of items that you're going to find items that are loft like and items that are definitely not loft like maybe that that remind you more of H&M and Zara but you're going to find a lot of items there that are really going to become wardrobe staples just like loft items can become wardrobe staples and here is their version of that neutral midi dress um, like I said the prices are comparable at loft and mango and it could just be another good go-to source for you if you like that loft aesthetic. Okay, the next store to consider is um, H&M, or the next store that a lot of people go, that is a go-to for a lot of people is H&M. Now, H&M is a big Swedish retailer. I, I always think of it kind of as, I'm sure I didn't come up with this, the Ikea of clothing, because that's inexpensive and also Swedish. Um, but... Um, H&M is a great go-to for a lot of people. Now, H&M is one of those places that for me is hit and miss. I love H&M and have found some great pieces at H&M. And then I've also found some pieces, like I've also gone in some, some weeks and some seasons and like found nothing I like. But um, H&M is a great, to me, is a great first stop for people looking to build a professional wardrobe for the first time um, on a budget because they always have those workhorse work pieces. Um, and then they have some trendy pieces, some of them over the top, some them a lot more accessible. Um, I really love this dress from H&M. It's um, it actually looks a lot more expensive than it is, and it is on the higher end for H&M. It's seventy five dollars, but it's a beautiful blue sweater dress. Looks a lot more high end to me than an H&M dress. And again, like I said, it's a little more expensive, so $75. Um, but I love that blue sweater dress. But if you want an alternative to H&M, um, there's a company that's a sister company to H&M, and it's a step up in quality and definitely in price, and it's called And Other Stories. Um, I love this brand. I tend to find consistently find great items at and other stories. H&M is definitely one of my go-tos because we have a local H&M. We don't have, I don't think and other stories actually have stores. I'm not even sure, but I shop them online and I find that they end up with really, really nice. They end up having really nice pieces season after season. Their quality is really good. And the way to shop these brands sustainably is to buy pieces that you're going to hold on to for a while. I mean, that's how to make these brands more sustainable is to buy pieces that are going to be in your wardrobe for a long time. And then it, you're going to make them a lot more sustainable. These some of these more fast fashion brands. So this is their version of that blue sweater dress. This is the straight structured shoulder knit dress um, from Stories. So if you like H&M, you might want to consider and other stories. You're going to find a little bit more polish, a little bit more quality, a little bit of a higher price point, but similar in terms of aesthetic and trendiness and cool factor. Um, so, and other stories, great source to check out. Now, are you an Eileen Fisher person? A lot of women over the age of whatever, insert your age here, um, love Eileen Fisher. They, uh, and, and the quality is impeccable. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful quality from Eileen Fisher. And you've got that minimalist kind of oversized. Again, I think that Eileen Fisher and J. Jill sometimes have a similar audience or similar personal style where you like, um, but J. Jill more, is more natural and maybe Eileen Fisher is natural but minimal. Um, so you know, flowy, kind of more oversized pieces and beautiful, luxurious fabrics and muted colors. That's the whole Eileen, Eileen Fisher aesthetic, if you're not familiar with it. Um, this is an Eileen Fisher cashmere silk bliss sweater. Um, that is, you know, a, the classic Eileen Fisher look. It's, it's, beige. It's a little oversized. It's beautiful quality. It's this quiet elegance. Um, so if you really like that Eileen Fisher look, but maybe you're looking for an alternative that maybe is a little bit less expensive, maybe a little bit more modern or minimal, maybe a little bit edgier, consider Kaz. Kaz is a European retailer. They do sell 
um, online and it's a great source for minimal pieces for your wardrobe. This is their um, Milano Knit Jumper. Um, it is about maybe a quarter the price or a third the price of the um, Eileen Fisher one. Obviously, it's not cashmere and silk like Eileen Fisher, but it's a beautiful, like minimal beige oversized jumper that can give you that same kind of quiet luxury look at a lower price. So if you want an alternative to Eileen Fisher, I would definitely consider Kaz. Okay, so if you're the type of person who likes all the detail, all the embellishments, all the interest in your clothes, you've probably discovered White House Black Market. I can spot a White House Black Market jacket. Um, most of my clients have had them in their wardrobes. I can spot one from like half a block away because they have such a specific aesthetic. And it includes, like there are very few basics at White House Black Market. Even their basics have detail and interest and, 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 and stuff on them. That could be good or bad depending on what you're looking for. But the, their jackets are generally pretty detailed and have a lot going on. If you love the White House Black Market aesthetic, um, then you know, you've been probably shopping them for years and have acquired um, multiple uh, jackets and tops and pants and stuff from White House Black Market in your wardrobe. I have a client that before before we met, she, she literally would just go there and buy all their new stuff every season um, because she had a professional uh, uh, workplace and she needed to dress up every every day for work and she just found that it was a go-to for her and it was local and it was easy and all of that. But if you're looking for an alternative to White House Black Market, um, you can consider Boston Proper. I think that they have a very similar aesthetic where their pieces are interesting and detailed and have quite a bit going on. Um, they're feminine, they have um, embellishments, they're fun, like White House Black Market pieces are fun. Um, and so I have two examples here to show you kind of their similarities. So the Gromit Trucker Denim Jacket from White House Black Market. This is their white denim jacket with all this detail on it. Again, it's not a basic white denim jacket, it's a White House Black Market denim jacket. Um, Boston Proper has their own version of this. It's a little bit of a step down in terms of detail. Um, it has a little bit less detail, though Boston Proper has a lot of detailed pieces, but this is also not a basic white denim jacket. It's a white denim jacket with a couple of more details going on. And this is their well, it just is the Boston proper white denim jacket. It's got like a little bit of a puff sleeve. It's got these interesting button details. It's just, it's just a, a more statement piece. So like White House Black Market has those statement pieces with, with embellishments and with details. You'll find the same at Boston proper. So if you like White House Black Market, you might like Boston proper. Um, they also both have these uh, beautiful blue blazers, um, like double-breasted blazers. I like this. This one from Boston Proper is their modern double-breasted blazer in this beautiful teal color. Um, this is about as basic as Boston Proper gets. And White House Black Market has this their variation of the same blazer, also about as basic as they get. It's their studio blazer, um, also in blue. So they both have kind of that similar um, similar aesthetic. Okay, now if you like um, Banana Republic, I love Banana Republic. Banana Republic is really, like it was not on my radar for a long time and the last couple of years it's everywhere and I love what I'm seeing come from Banana Republic. Um, and I know it's a go-to for a lot of you. And so I wanted to give you another source for Banana Republic-like clothes. So I love this coat from Banana Republic. If you if you know their aesthetic, it's it, it, there's a lot of like professional and polished and beautiful and sophisticated clothes, but there's always an element of adventure and explorer. And maybe I, I am in my head, I'm always still seeing the Banana Republic from the 80s where it was like safari, that kind of thing. So it always is like someone really stylish going on an exotic vacation. That's kind of what I think of when I think of Banana Republic. And this, this coat definitely has that vibe. Um, this is just a beautiful coat with these metal details on it. It's just a statement coat and it's a really, really cool piece. Um, LK Bennett is a British company that also has modern, professional, um, polished, beautiful pieces that are, are going to be wardrobe staples and things that you're going to have in your wardrobe for a really long time. Maybe a little bit less of the explorer or exotic element that Banana Republic has, but just beautiful pieces. And where I think that if you like Banana Republic, you will probably also like LK Bennett. So this is their Cassius Black Recycled Wool Colorless Coat. Um, beautiful statement coat with these beautiful metal details on it, just like Banana Republic. I, I, I love both of them. They both have 
really, really beautiful options. Um, I, they also both have, I, I just went on a coat um, um, search on their sites because they both have beautiful coats, um, but both of them have these great plaid coats. So this one is the Adrienne Plaid Trench from Banana Republic. It's a beautiful, beautiful plaid coat. Love the way this is styled. Love this whole look. I think it's stunning. LK Bennett has their own version of a plaid coat. Um, and I think it's also so stylish and so beautiful. And again, these are going to be investment pieces that you're going to have in your wardrobe for a long time. So if you love Banana Republic, you might also like LK Bennett. So I hope that these alternatives to your favorite stores have opened up new worlds of possibility for you when you're shopping. And when you're building your wardrobe, we're getting ready to go into spring and you're going to want some more sources that can become new go-to sources. If you're feeling stuck, or if you're feeling like you need more options, if you're not loving what your current favorite store has in store right now, um, you have some new shopping options that are Meta approved. They have my stamp of approval on them. I have shopped them all and my clients have shopped them all. They all have great quality. They have great customer service. They stand behind their items. And um, I think you're going to have a great positive experience shopping at each of those stores. So as always, there's a blog post with all of this information listed below. And I have a lot more information in the description box for you. So definitely check that out. If you like this video and you want to see more alternatives to more stores, um, let me know. Uh, give this video a like if you like this video. Comment below. And let me know what your favorite go-to store is. And if you'd like some more options for um, items that are uh, for stores that have similar items. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. We have such a good year planned. 2023 is going to be an amazing year on this channel, and I would hate for you to miss any of it. Plus, I just really like having you around. So stick around. Love you guys. I will see you in the next video. Bye.